What's up, good people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comments section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers, so please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want three free stocks, Weeble is gonna give you three free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put any amount of money in that brokerage account, they're gonna give you three free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app. There's a link down in the description box of this video. Go click on that Weeble link. Open up your new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. I'm going to also send you a Weeble tutorial video to walk you through how to use the Weeble app to make your first trade. All you got to do is send me a DM on Instagram at Richard Fain Millionaire Mentor. Let me know you've opened the Weeble account. Let me know you've funded the Weeble account. And then I'm gonna send you that tutorial video so that you can start buying paper assets to put yourself in a position to build wealth in 2024. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top five investments to make you wealthy in 2024. From a millionaire mindset standpoint, because if we want to be millionaires, if we want to get to our pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, starts up here, right? It starts with the mental. It starts with changing the way we think about money. That's the key, right? If I got a raggedy behavior with money, I don't care what my activities are. I won't become a millionaire. I won't get to financial freedom. So I have to change the way I think about money. That's what we're going to talk about today. I also want to make it clear. This is just my opinion, guys. You're more than welcome to go out and do your own research. Look at other people on YouTube. Look at people on TikTok wherever you want to look at people to get information, go do it. The key though is taking that information, dissecting it, taking what you need, throwing back what you don't need, and then applying it to your financial life. See, that's where the rubber meets the road. The rubber meets the road where we have to apply what we've learned. That's my opinion. All I'm telling you is you can have all the knowledge in the world. But if you don't take that knowledge, and if you don't apply it, it means nothing. So let's dive in to those top five investments. Number one, real estate. Now I know some of you are saying, well, what are you talking about real estate? Interest rates are through the roof. You know, prices for homes, rental properties are through the roof. I can't buy real estate. I can't invest in real estate. Well, here's the deal. Yes, you can. And here's why. I'm creating a fund called the Prime Real Estate Fund. And we're going to be pooling together investors money to be able to go out and buy real estate one to four family dwellings in great neighborhoods cash see we're not going to have to go and get a seven percent 30 year fixed interest rate we have to do that not through the prime real estate fund we're going to pay for everything cash and you guys who've been following me 
No, I've been in the process over the last several months of forming the prime real estate fund. And, and we're getting close. I hope to have it formalized by the end of March. But that's one way you can use real estate to build your wealth in 2024 is by participating as an investor with thousands of other investors, pooling our money together and going out buying prime real estate in the best residential locations we can find. Now you don't have to manage tenants and toilets. Now you ain't got to worry about a seven, seven and a half percent interest rate. Now you ain't got to worry about monthly payments. Now you ain't got to worry about tenants. All you got to do is sit back and wait for the profits to roll in. Now, I can't guarantee you anything. I don't want no one watching this video saying, oh, Richard Fain guaranteed this and he guaranteed that. I can't guarantee you anything other than the opportunity to build wealth through the prime real estate fund. It's not my fund. It is going to be the investor's fund. I'm just a guy who actually put it together, right? But it's the investors. It's their fund. Why in the world would I even go down the pathway of creating a prime real estate fund? Because I know I've gotten some criticism out there in the financial guru world from some of your favorite YouTubers. So, so let, me, let me set the record straight. Do I need to do this? No. Guys, I've invested in real estate from a personal standpoint for 25 years. A lot of these folks who have criticized me was in diapers or barely out of diapers when I started buying real estate. I've been doing this for a long time and made a lot of money doing it. So I'm not doing it to get rich. I'm doing it because it's a challenge. I'm doing it because I know there are people out there who would love to be able to pool their money with other like-minded investors, go buy prime real estate that pays cash flow immediately, and then on exit, when we exit the property, there's a nice chunk of capital appreciation they get back. And then guess what we do? We go find more properties and we rinse and repeat. What are my expectations for the prime real estate fund? Well, let's talk about cash flow. My expectation is anywhere from 15 to 30 percent ROI, return on investment or cash on cash return, however you want to call it. That's my expectation. Now, Expectation is not a guarantee, right? It's an expectation. It's me doing my research and looking at the markets that we're going to launch this thing in and, and trying to determine what is the fair market return we can expect on a prime class A property. That's what I've been doing. So that's what I'm giving you. That's why I'm telling you it's the expectation, but it's not a guarantee. But that's what we plan to do. We plan to get a 15 to 30 percent cash on cash return. And that 15 to 30 percent will be going to who? The investors. Now, now, obviously, we'll have expenses associated with the fund. So you got your gross rental income. Then you're going to have fund expenses and then you're going to have what? Net profit. The net profit piece is what we will go ahead and distribute to the investors, right? That's the first way you get a return on your money in the prime real estate fund. The second way you get a return on your money in the prime real estate fund is through what? Capital appreciation. 
See, the goal is, is we buy these prime residential one to four family dwellings, right, in the very best areas we can afford to buy where people have a desire to live. And guess what happens? They appreciate and value every year. From my research, I'm more than positive. Again, not a guarantee, just being very optimistic, guys, right? See, I'm a positive guy. When I get ready to do something, I don't worry about being negative. I only want to be positive. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blind positive, but I'm, I'm, I'm calculated, um, researched positive, right? From my research, I'm expecting anywhere from a 7 to 10% capital appreciation every single year, holding the property three to five years. That's the goal. I'm not guarantee you we won't hold them longer. I'm not guarantee you we won't hold them a less amount of time than three years. But three to five years is typically the whole pattern that I'm thinking we're going to use in the prime real estate fund. Again, that's not etched in stone. That is just a guideline, right? It's a guideline. But if we can get that 7 to 10% rate of return, capital appreciation, annualized over the three or five year period of holding a property, not bad. Let me give you an example. Let's say we open the fund. We raise $20 million. We take that 20 million and we deploy it into prime, one to four family, great properties, right? We fully rent those properties and we hold those properties for five years. Let's say we hold $20, $20 million in real estate for five years and we get at least an 8% annualized capitalization or appreciation on that property. We got a $20 million portfolio, guys. So that's $20 million in, in, in properties. This is just an example, right? Just an example. And we hold it five years. So eight times five is a capitalized 40% return on 20 million. How much is that? That's 8 million. So in five years, if we can realize an $8 million capital appreciation on a $20 million portfolio, that's pretty dang on good numbers in my opinion. That's a compound at 40%. So that is the way I'm looking at this thing. And again, I'm doing it because I want to give other people the opportunity to be able to invest in real estate without having to worry about all the headaches of owning real estate, without having to worry about all the headaches of managing real estate, without having to worry about all the headaches of trying to go out and get a loan. Some of you may have challenging credit situations. Some of you may not qualify for income purposes, but everybody can qualify for the prime real estate fund with the exception of this. Our minimum investment amount is gonna be $10,000. That's the minimum. That is the minimum investment amount. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to make sure the people who are investing in, in this fund is not investing their last penny. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for people who say, hey, I would love to have a part of my overall investment portfolio in real estate. Right. Here's 10 grand. Here's 20 grand. Here's 50 grand. Here's 100 grand. Here's a million, whatever you're comfortable with. Right. And understand that that money has to be locked up for three to five years. That's that's what we want from people. And we need them to understand that we need to have them a good fight, have a good financial picture of what they're getting themselves into. So that's the prime real estate fund. If you're interested in that, guys, I would ask you to go down to the description box of this video and you'll see an email address for RF Financial Consulting. You can email me. Let me know you have interest in the Prime Real Estate Fund. I will respond to your email and put you on the investor wait list, right? 
So I can do that. Or, or you can DM me on Instagram. I got a brand new Instagram page because my old page, Richard Fain 28, was disabled. So I had to create a brand new Instagram page, and that is Richard Fain Millionaire Mentor. That's also down in the description box of the video. So those are the two ways you can reach out to me if you're interested in the Prime Real Estate Fund. It's going to be launching in 2024, guys. And I've given you the overview of what we're trying to accomplish. All right? Once I get it formed and I have the offering documents, all the people who are on my investor email list, potential investor email list, I'm going to send that out to all of them. So if you're part of that list, you'll get it. You'll get the offering documents, right? And we're going to start pooling our money together and buying some, some really nice real estate. That's what, we, that's what we're going to be doing. So, so be on the lookout for that. Let's move on to the second top five investment that I believe gives you the opportunity to build wealth in 2024. And that's the stock market through paper assets. Now, some of you will know I've been doing the stock market, buying paper assets for over 20 years, guys. Self-directed, on my own. I'm not saying you got to do it on your own. I'm just telling you I did it on my own because that's the path that I wanted to take. And I built a lot of wealth by doing some fundamentals. I wasn't a very smart guy. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. I don't have a CFP designation. And I'm not knocking anybody that has all that stuff. More power to them. What I'm telling you is you can build wealth whether you have that or not. I don't have any of it and built wealth in the stock market by just doing some basic fundamental things. The first thing, I wasn't trying to be the expert. I didn't, I didn't try to seek out to be some stock market expert where I need to know everything about every this and that and it. No, that's not what I did. What I wanted to accomplish was show me a passive way to invest my money into paper assets, a passive way that has a historical track record of multiplying money. Show me that investment. If you show me that investment, that passive investment, that's the path I want to take. See, I didn't want the active path where I got to be out here doing all the research, doing all the work, uh, being on the computer 20 hours a day. I didn't want that path. I wanted the passive path where I did nothing. I did nothing other than push a button to invest my money. And then the fund itself did the rest. And for me, that was ETFs and index funds that track the S&P 500 index and the total stock market and, and some sectors. That was it, guys. That's all I did. For 20 plus years, rinse and repeat, bought ETFs and index funds that track the S&P 500 index, that track the total stock market, and track certain sectors like the tech sector and the healthcare sector. That's it. Where did I find these ETFs at? Well, I bought them through Vanguard. Right? Now, I'm not on here telling you guys you got to go to Vanguard and buy anything. You can go wherever you want to go. But I'm just telling you what I did, what was, what, what was successful for me. And that's what I do on my channel. I give you guys my experiences. You can take the nuggets or you can throw the nuggets back. That's on you. All I'm doing is, is giving you my experiences. And I'm telling you it's proven, proven, proven because I did it. And I'm still doing it. So... Stock market investments potentially can give you net worth gain, but you got to do some fundamentals, right? Back to what I said earlier in this video, got to get this right. This can't, you can't have a bad relationship with money and think you're going to build wealth in the stock market. You can't. You got to have a good relationship with money, right? You also got to have a long-term outlook. It's not a get rich quick overnight thing, guys. <clears throat> it's not. 
It's a process. For most of us, we're going to have to take a certain amount of money every single month and we're going to have to put it in something that has a historical track record of multiplying money. And for me, the S&P 500 index has that historical track record. I challenge you to go out and do some research on the S&P 500 index. Go look at the 90 year history of that index and see what type of return on investment it has produced over those 90 years. In my research, it says seven to 10%. Had you been invested in an S&P 500 ETF or index fund that tracked the S&P 500 index in 2023, you would be looking at north of a 20% ROI. Again, guys, I'm not telling you anything that you can't go out online and research yourself. I'm just giving you the cliff notes of what's out there online. I'm telling you what happened because I was invested and that's the return I got. So the S&P 500 for 99% of us guys is probably the only investment we would ever need to make. And that's the truth. Now, a lot of people won't agree with that. A lot of people will say, oh, oh, you can get a 30% in this. You can get a 40% in that. Maybe you can. But guess what? You will have a lot more risk attached to that 30 or 40%. I, I, I ain't chasing 30 or 40% returns. I'm chasing between 7 and 10% over a long time. Over, over 10 years, over 15 years, over 20 years. That's the approach I took, and it served me well. It kept me out of the weeds. I didn't have to be the expert. I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I didn't have to be on my computer every day trying to figure out what's the, what companies will win in 24, what companies are going to lose in 20. I didn't have to do all of that. I just leaned on the S&P 500 index. You got the top 500 big boy companies in America in the front, man. You got the Magnificent Seven in there. Apple, Tesla, Amazon, Meta, Alphabet, NVIDIA, Microsoft. You got the Magnificent Seven in the top 500 companies in America. That's the S&P 500 index. Now, you got to go find you an ETF that tracks it, though. That's where Vanguard comes in. I chose Vanguard. Why did I choose Vanguard? Well, man, when I look at their track record, when I looked at their history, they're the only true mutual fund company in America. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. These guys, they were the creator of the index fund. They were, they, they were the creator of the mutual fund. They were the creator of the ETF. So for me, it made sense to go with a company that had that solid proven track record of being truly a true, true, true index fund company a true ETF company, a true mutual fund company, even though a mutual fund is more of an active investment, I don't invest in mutual funds, but I did early on in my investing career, right? But I found out quickly I'm paying more fees when I buy mutual funds because they're actively managed. There are human beings and they're picking stuff and you got to pay them human beings. And it comes out of my investment return in mutual funds. Again, guys, just my opinion. Not your financial advisor, not a CFP, not a license, none of that stuff. Go out and do your own homework. I mean, it's right there on the internet. It ain't, go look it up. Go look up what a mutual fund is. It'll tell you exactly what it is. And I guarantee you, active will be inside, in, in, in any description, it's going to say active. Go look up an ETF, go look up an index fund, and I guarantee you, passive is going to be in that description. What is passive? I don't do anything. That's passive. What is active? I got to do something. I don't want to do anything. So I go passive. I go index fund. I go ETF. If you want to be active, go mutual fund, go individual stocks. You can be as active as you like. One thing I can tell you, though, for 99% of us, we're not going to outperform the S&P 500. We're not. I'm just telling you what history says. So if you want a way to build wealth in 2024, 
Simplize the game plan. Don't complicate the game plan. Simplize it. Make it simple. Stock market investing for dummies. Because I'm a dummy when it comes to that. So I didn't want to recreate the wheel. I just stock market investing for dummies, which is get my mind right, get my behavior with money right, live on less than what I make, live on a plan, which is a personal budget, stay out of consumer debt, save and invest. Those four financial principles, that's how you get your behavior with money right. Pretty simple. You do those four things, your behavior with money will be right. You don't do those four things, then your behavior is not going to be right. And no matter what you do, it's going to be tough for you to build wealth because you ain't going to have no money. You can't build wealth, guys, if you ain't got no money. And I don't understand if you're living on more than what you make, you don't live on a plan, you constantly in consumer debt, you never save and invest, how in the hell are you going to build wealth? You ain't going to have no money. So, so, so people can argue with me on that or, 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 or say things but I'm telling you guys, if you don't do those four things, you don't build wealth because you don't have any money. Your biggest, your biggest, your number one tool to build wealth is what? Money, income. You show me one person that lives on more than what they make, does not live on a plan, does not live by a budget. They consistently stay in debt, consumer debt. They never save and invest. Show me a person that does not do those four things. Show me a person that has some wealth. Ain't none. It don't exist. So if you do those four things, that gets your behavior with money right. Once your behavior with money is right, then you go get you an S&P 500 ETF or index fund. Again, guys, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you my opinion. You have to figure out what's right for you. Because I don't want someone saying, well, Richard Fain said I need it. No, Richard Fain ain't. Richard Fain telling you what he did to build his wealth and get to his pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's what I'm telling you. So for me, if I'm giving someone a recommendation, that recommendation is get your mind right, get them four financial principles together, and then go get yourself an ETF that tracks the S&P. I personally would say, look at Vanguard. Not that you need to do anything with Vanguard. This is not a sponsored anything for Vanguard, but Vanguard is what I use. And y'all know how I rock on this channel. If I use something, that's all I'm gonna promote. I'm not gonna promote something I don't use. Now, if you wanna go buy something and do something else outside of that, hey, it's your financial freedom plan, not mine. I'm just telling you and giving you some nuggets, some golden nuggets. That's what I do on this channel, I give golden nuggets. People take the nuggets sometimes, sometimes they throw them back. That's okay. My job is to give the information. My job is not to make sure you use any of it. That's your job. My job is just to give it to you. It ain't to make you use it. Right? So, top five. Of the top five, number two is stock market investing. S&P 500 ETF or index fund that tracks the S&P 500 index. That's all you need. Now, if you say to yourself, Richard, okay, I got you, but is that all you invest in? Let me give you a little quick breakdown of how I invest my money, right? So 80% of the money that I invest, guys, goes into just what I just told you. 80% ETFs that track the S&P, total stock market, tech ETF, Healthcare ETF. That's where 80% of my money goes into ETFs and index funds. Now, 20% of my money, and maybe even a little smaller than that, but, but 20% I will allocate to individual stocks, right? But it ain't just no any old individual stocks. It's going to be the Magnificent Seven, right? And, and a two additional financial services companies. So the Magnificent Seven, I've already told you who they are, right? Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, Alphabet, NVIDIA, and Tesla. There's your Magnificent Seven. I invest in those seven companies, 
individually through a portfolio I created called the Magnificent Seven Stock Market Portfolio, right? I created that on my own and boop, I dumped money in there. Why? Because they're, they're, they're winners. When you look at those seven companies, man, they carry 28% of the weight in the S&P 500. The other 493 companies carry 72% of the weight. Those seven companies carry 28% of the weight, guys. They're heavy hitters, all home run hitters. That's my opinion. Again, that's my opinion. You may differ, but my opinion is they're all home run hitters, all Reggie Jackson home run hitters. And then since I spent 25 years in banking, I love financial services companies too. Why? Because I know how they make their money. They make, so, they make billions and billions and billions of dollars a year off people like you and I. Because you know, a lot of us don't know no better. They charge us overdraft fees. They charge us check cashing fees. They charge us money order fees. They charge us uh, uh, maintenance fees. Uh, we go to them and buy, get loans. We do all kind of stuff. And these banks make billions of dollars a year. And guess what? I invest in them. Because of that, they're very profitable. They pay great dividends. So I'll take a little bit of my money and I'll put it in Bank of America or Wells Fargo and just leave it there. I just leave it there and I get such great dividends. It makes no sense for me to move it. I got a Wells Fargo portfolio right now of about 6,100, 6,100, almost 6,200 shares. And it throws off about $2,200 a quarter just in dividends. Why would I move it? Why would I do anything? I just collect the dividends, reinvest them back into buying more shares. So when Wells Fargo is trading lower, I still get paid the $2,200 a quarter in dividends. So if they're trading at $30 a share, $35 a share, $25, whatever they're trading at, I just keep buying them. And guess what they do occasionally? It'll jump back up to $45, $48, $50 a share like it is today. So I just made a really nice appreciation on just being patient. Now, again, I'm not telling you guys you need to do that strategy, but that's my strategy. So 80% of my money goes in passive investments like ETFs and index funds. 80%. Track the S&P, track the total stock market, tech sector, healthcare sector. Why the tech sector? Well, tech is the future. I just told you about the Magnificent Seven and all those are tech companies. Guys, I'm telling you, you, enough said on that, right? Why healthcare? Why? Because we have an aging population here in the United States. We got 65, 70 million baby boomers. We have an aging population and healthcare ain't getting no cheaper. It's getting more expensive. These healthcare companies don't even play around, man. They are, these are, these are billion, 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 billion on top of billion dollar companies that I'm talking about. One of the, 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 the ETFs I invest in is uh, Vanguard Healthcare VHT. Guys, go look at that. Go on, go on to Vanguard's website and, and go up to the search bar and, 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 and punch in VHT, the ticker symbol VHT. It'll come up. Go down and scroll down and look at the companies, like the top 10, top 20 companies in that fund. All big boys, man. All home run hitters, man. All home, home run hitters. United Healthcare, Johnson & Johnson, Merck, just the same name a few, right? So my point is, when I'm investing on a passive nature, where I don't have to be the expert, I don't have to do anything other than push a button every month and money goes into those funds, I just sit back and have a long-term outlook and let it do its thing. Why? Because it's got a proven track record. The other 20%, I do somewhat got to be the expert. But, I, but, I, but I, 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 I dumb it down where I don't have to be that much of an expert because I just go after big boy blue chip home run hitter companies. That's what I do. And it served me well. So 20% of my money goes individual stocks, 80% of my money goes ETFs, index funds. That's it, guys. That's what I do. I just gave you my blueprint for success. I rinse and repeat that every single year, every single decade. That's all I do.
I'm not saying you got to do that, but I'm telling you, you better do something. You better figure something out. Milk ain't getting no cheaper. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Rent ain't getting no cheaper. Home prices ain't getting no cheaper. Nothing getting cheaper, guys. Everything we utilize in this life to exist is getting more expensive. So all I'm telling you is you better have a war chest over here to be able to do the things you need to do. Or you're going to, oh, it ain't going to be pretty. I'm trying to give you some items to get your war chest up. You got to get the war chest up. I'm telling you, ain't nothing getting cheaper. Oh, it's going to come to a pandemic. It's going to come back down at some point. No, it's not. People saying home prices. Oh, home prices are going to come down. They, they ain't coming down. They ain't came down yet. I know we got low inventory, but they ain't came down yet. All I'm telling you is that's a part of our ecosystem. A part of our economy is to raise prices on the goods and services that we use. That's how the economy works. Now, they don't want prices going up four, five, six, seven, eight, ten percent a year. They don't want that. But prices are going to go up at least by two percent a year. So if your income is not going up by at least two percent a year, you lose it. If prices are going up by two percent in a perfect economy, which we're not in because right now they're up about 4%. So we're not in a perfect economy, but in a perfect economy, 2%. Goods and services go up by 2% every year in a perfect economy. If your income ain't going up faster than that, guys, if your investments are not earning more than that, you're going to be stuck like Chuck. You got to give up something. See, in, 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 in the golden years of my life, I don't want to give up nothing. I want to be able to do anything I want to do, travel, uh, donate my time. to. I want to do whatever I want to do. But I don't get to do any of that unless I do what? Build up the war chest. That's why these top five things right here is building up the war chest. So you don't have to, you don't have to take all five of them, but take something, process it, Put a plan together and take some action. So, so stock market investment, uh, stock market investing is number two. Number two, behind real estate and then stock market investment. But y'all know on real estate, it ain't got nothing to do with going out trying to be some, you know, landlord. That, that's not what the real estate I'm talking about. The real estate I'm talking about is the prime real estate fund. So, so for, for some of you people that are just jumping in here late, go back and take a look at that. Okay, now let's move on to number three. The, the, the third of the top five that you, that you need to consider to build wealth in 2024. Business. Businesses. What do you mean? Why would I want to start a business and, you know, inflation is high and all this other stuff? That's, I don't want to, I want to start a business when everything's perfect. Well, you can, but guess what? Every other person and, 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 their, and, their, and their brother-in-law going to want to start one then too when everything's perfect. That's the wrong time to start a business when everything's perfect because everybody else want to start one. You got more competition. Best time to start a business, in my opinion, is when there's less competition. When, when things, when inflation is high, uh, you know, real estate prices are high, that's the best time to start a business, in my opinion. Less competition, Right? I want to start a business when, 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 when things are volatile and uncertain because I don't have as much competition. Then I can, I can bring my solution to the market, my solution that actually solves problems for people. I can bring that solution to the market and be ready to go. So when things do turn around, I'm already ready to go. My supply chain's in place. My employees are in place. If I have employees... My system is in place. I perfected my solution. I know exactly where my customer is. I know exactly how to get to my customer. I know exactly what my acquisition cost is to acquire that customer. See, all that stuff I vet out in volatile times. 
I don't want to be trying to vet all that out, guys, when it's, when it's the perfect economy, because guess what? I'm going to get run over like a, a bus going to run me over because everybody else is going to be doing it, right? So I want to do it when there are fewer people starting businesses. No perfect time in 2024 because, see, we're, we're, we're not out of the woods yet because why? Inflation is still 4%, right? We ain't out of the woods yet. So people are still, well, I'm not hesitant. Inflation's still high. Home prices are still high. Interest rates are still high. See, here's the thing. When interest rates come down, guess what that does? When, Fed, when the Fed reduces interest rates, they turn on the money supply. Once they turn on that money supply, guess what? Everybody out there who can go get an SBA loan or go get a traditional bank loan, they're going to go get them to start businesses. Because money cheap. Money cheap. See, right now, when money's so expensive, people can't get business loans. Right? They're too expensive. So people say, no, I'm not going to borrow no money to start my business. I'm going to wait till interest rates come down. But when interest rates come down, it increases activity. It increases what? Competition as well. I don't want all that competition. So the best time for me to start my business is now. Guess when I started my business? January 2020, a couple months before the pandemic, a couple months before the pandemic, I started my business. And guess what? I had really no competition. Now, you go on YouTube, I got competition everywhere. Right? But had I started, had I not started my business in 2020 where there was less competition, and I waited to 2020, what? To three where there's more competition, then that would have maybe hurt me. I don't know. All I'm telling you is in 2024, depending upon what business you go in, it's going to be less competition to go into that business. But when interest rates come down, when interest rates come down and people can borrow money to, 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 to put in a new business, that's when things are going to get more competitive. Now, because everybody can go out and get cheap money to start their business. Now, you won't be able to borrow cheap money to start your business, but you don't have to have a lot of money to start your business, depending upon what business you start. Find something you can do online that doesn't require you to have a lot of inventory. It doesn't require you to have a lot of employees. It doesn't require you to have a lot of stuff. What it will require you have is some type of solution that can solve someone's problem. If you can find solutions that solve everyday problems people have and you can deliver that solution to them and it, and it makes sense to them, you can start a business, right? One of the ways people make their money or they hold their money is in businesses. Most of your self-made millionaires in this country made their money in businesses. In businesses, all types of businesses, but they made their money in businesses. And then they take that money, either they continue to hold it in their business or they take that money and put it in other assets to continue to multiply. That's what I do. I don't hold my money that I make in my business. I don't hold it in my business. I take that money out of the business and I put it in other things that will continue to multiply. You have to make that decision. But starting a business is a really, really, really smart way to create net worth for yourself, whether you keep it in the business or you transfer it out of the business and put it in other assets. That's up to you. But it's a great way to start building wealth in 2024. So if you've got ideas, guys, that you've had on the shelf that you've been thinking about, right? You got this amazing business idea that you've been thinking about for years but you just never executed on it. Execute. Take it off the shelf. Dust it off. Make sure it's still a solution that can solve problems. And then go, go get it. What are you waiting on? Go get it. That's the third investment out of the top five that I believe you can really change something in your financial life in 2024 if, if, 
It's a solution that solves problems. That's the key, guys. Ain't no need to start in the business if it's not a solution that people are looking for to solve problems. So you need to vet that. You need to do some type of outreach to see if there's an opportunity for that solution to solve problems. If it can, then you're, you're, you're in the game. When I started my business, that's what I did. I said, let me, let me put these videos out, these financial education videos. Let, let me see if there's a market that, that is looking for this type of information to solve their financial literacy problems. So I started making the videos on YouTube, right? And guess what? It started reaching people. See, I didn't know how to reach millions and millions of people on my own. So I just used platforms like YouTube to reach millions and millions of people, which that's what I've done over the years, right? 60, 65, 70 million people I've reached over the last four years, just on this channel. Not a lot of fancy stuff, just information. All I'm telling you is that's how I found how to reach people was through this YouTube platform. And I tell anybody with any business, you can do the same. I don't care what the business is. Start your YouTube channel. And that's all you talk about is your business. Put videos up every day showing people how your business, your solution can help them solve a problem. Just keep doing that. Do that for 12 months straight. Use Instagram. Use TikTok. Use Facebook. Whatever social media platform you want to use, make videos about your solution and just be diligent and consistent. And I guarantee you, if it's a solution that's a good one and people need it to solve a problem, they will find you. Boom, that's all I did. No money, just making videos, explaining to people what I did in order to build my wealth. And it started catching on, right? Like I said, I'm not the only guy out there that does this. I'm a small fish compared to some of these giant fish on YouTube doing this financial literacy thing. But I'm okay with that. See, I didn't come here to try to <laughs> get a trophy. Oh, I got the trophy. I'm the number one YouTuber in the world. I didn't try to, I, I, I don't care about that. What I care about is doing what? Telling people my story and hopefully they can grab some golden nuggets from my story to help them create their own story. You can do the same thing with your business, but you got to take it off the shelf dust it off and get to work, right? That's all you got to do. Let's move on to the fourth of the top five investments you need to make, in my opinion, if you want to get to wealth in 2024 is an investment in yourself. Now, I did a video a couple days ago where I really walk you guys through what I mean by that investment in yourself, right? When I'm talking about an investment in yourself, I'm going to give you the little cliff notes in this one. I'm talking about your financial, your spiritual, your mental, your health, and your relationships. Those five things. That's what I'm talking about when I say make an investment in yourself. Because if I got all five of those things good in my life, building wealth is going to be a piece of cake. Whatever I want to do in life is going to be a piece of cake. If I got all those five things in alignment, in positive alignment, spiritual, mental, health, finances, relationships, that's the investment you need to make in yourself in those five categories. Because if you got those five categories right, you're a whole person. You're, 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 you're laser focused, right? There ain't no quitting you, right? So, so how do I get these five things in line? Well, for me, I take them one at a time. Let's take spiritual. I have a spiritual relationship with my creator, which is God and Jesus Christ. That's my spiritual. That's the number one priority in my life, right? If everything else leaves, as long as that's not taken from me, I'm good to go, right? So I, I, I have to put work in for that, though. Now, it, it may not be the, the type of work you think about when you think about spiritual. So I have my own relationship with God. I don't let someone else, I, I, I don't let no man or woman tell me how my relationship should be with, with my creator. I determine that. You determine how yours, with whoever you, you may don't believe in nobody. That's okay. See, but I believe in a higher power. You may not, but whatever you believe in, whatever spiritual plane you're on, you need to align that. You need to get right with that. You need to, you need to, you need to 
pour yourself into getting that right. Second thing, health. Health is important, guys. My motto for 2024 is stay healthy, get wealthy. For some of us, it's get healthy and get wealthy. But for me, it's to stay healthy and get wealthy. That's the motto for 2024. So health is extremely important. And I take steps in my life to make sure my health is as good as I can get it. I get up and exercise every morning, four miles every morning, right? Well, at least five days a week. And then I try to watch what I eat. I don't put crap in my body that I know is not good for me, right? I do the very best I can, but I watch what I eat, right? I'll have a cheat day every now and then, but every day ain't a cheat day, man, because that stuff catch up to you. There ain't no shortcuts to health, man. I keep telling y'all, there are no shortcuts in this life. No shortcuts. Same with health. You got to get out there and dedicate yourself to doing what you need to do to keep yourself healthy. You got to put that in alignment, right? Relationships. You got to have healthy relationships, people. I'm not saying you need a perfect relationship, but it needs to be a good relationship, a good healthy relationship where you pour into the relationship and whoever you have in that relationship, they pour into you, but it needs to be good stuff. I don't need somebody pouring into me all this negative stuff and all this gossip and all this other crazy stuff. I don't need that. Get out of here. I don't need none of that. I don't need you pouring nothing into me that's negative. All I need to be poured into me is positive, wholesome, good stuff. That doesn't mean when I'm out of line, somebody can't step to me and, and be honest with me from a place of love. I'm okay with that. But don't be around here trying to just talk crazy stuff and think I'm going to listen to it. Uh-uh. I'm going to cut you out of my life and love you from a distance. That's how it works. I'm telling you, get your relationships right. Get your relationships right or get out of them. Period. Because I'm telling you, if it's not in alignment with, with, with these five things I talked about, it's hindering you. It's holding you back. You're not reaching your full financial potential. But it's not, it can't be one-sided, right? I can't look for all the love and, 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 and all the attention and, and, and all the everything, and I don't want to give nothing. Nah, that ain't going to work. Because guess what? The right people you want to attract ain't going to be attracted to you if you're just a taker and you're never a giver. You can't just be a taker. You got to be a giver. It's got to be 50-50. Relationships are based on 50-50. Give and take, right? So get your relationships right. Of course, financial. Let's leave financial for last. Let, let, let's talk about the mental. Let's talk about the mental. Very important, right? Got to have this right. Got to be in a good place up here. For me, I start off every morning reading something positive and then sharing it with the world. That's how I put myself in a positive mindset every single morning. See, I don't get up in the morning and turn on the news or get up in the morning and turn on some, some filthy radio station or get up in the morning and, you know what I'm saying, and go straight to Instagram and go straight to, yeah, I don't do that. What I do is I get up in the morning and I read something positive. And then I, I share it. And then I get my day going, which consists of me getting out, walking, getting my exercise in, eating breakfast, and then going to my day. That's my routine. And I, I, I try to stick to it. But that mental part is important. And how do I keep my mental clean? I don't allow crazy stuff to come into my filter system. I don't sit around the house and listen to all this crazy stuff on TV and crazy stuff on the radio. And uh -uh. I throw me some music on that, that I choose, mellow music, comfortable music, and I go about my day. I get out on my, my great patio here and, and, and I get in that, that vitamin D from the sun and I, I get that fresh air in me and I just, I just relax my mind and I just look at this beautiful view that I have. And then occasionally, you know, I'll get out, meet up with some friends, do some stuff. But 
That's how I keep the mental straight. The main way to keep the mental straight is not allow filth into the filter system. Only allow positive and good things into the filter system because guess what comes out of the filter system? Whatever you put into it. So if you put it in filth, filth comes out. If you put it in clean stuff, clean stuff comes out. I'm just telling you guys, get your mental right. Got to be in line. Got to be aligned, right? Everything got to be aligned. And then last, finance. See, the reason I keep finance last is because if I don't do those other four things first, doesn't matter about finance. Doesn't matter if I build wealth. If those four other things ain't taken care of, guys, doesn't matter if I build wealth. Because, see, wealth is not going to make me happy. Those four other things will. Yeah. Those four other things will make me happy. Wealth will not make me happy. Wealth is just a tool. Money is just a tool. It's a, a medium of exchange. It provides me a piece of paper or, or, or some digital code to be able to do what? Do the things that I enjoy doing. But without those other four things that I mentioned, those four categories, health, mental, spiritual, relationships, without those four things, you ain't gonna build wealth anyways. Not really. Now, have some people done it? Of course. But they're an exception to the rule. 99% of us need those four things in alignment to build wealth. So get those four things in alignment. And then the fifth one will align and then you boom, you're off to the races. So that's what I mean by the investment in yourself. Please, please, please consider that. If you don't take nothing else I've said on this video today, consider that. Consider that nugget because that's a big one, right? And then the last investment of the top five investments for 2024 that I recommend you consider is invest in others. Invest in others. And I don't necessarily mean monetarily, guys. I mean with your time, right? Invest, and that's a big one for me because, see, I'm such an introvert. Now, don't get me wrong. I invest in others through the YouTube channel because I give you guys, but I'm talking about, I'm talking about, at least for me, I want to physically Physically be around and invest in others. You may do it physically. You may do it online. No matter how you do it, invest in others. It's healthy for you. See, it's healthy to pay it forward. Right? If I've worked my tail off, right? If, I, if I've worked my tail off and, I, and, I'm, and I'm doing great, guess what? Don't keep it to yourself. Share that greatness. I keep telling y'all, keep chasing your greatness. I say that after every video. I say, keep chasing your greatness. A lot of us have gotten to a point where we're doing great things in our life. Share it. Give that greatness to someone else. Share that greatness with someone else. That's why we're here, guys. We're here for one another. Now, I know sometimes it don't seem like that because we got a lot of stuff going on in our world. And there's a lot of people fighting against each other. There are a lot of people who don't like each other. But ultimately, what I believe is we're put here for each other. And my small way of, of connecting that is by investing in others with my time, with my knowledge, and in some cases with dollars, right? But, but, but predominantly, predominantly with information. And, and with my time. So that right there, guys, are your top five investments to make you wealthy in 2024. And I would even say beyond, right? These are investments, guys, that we, we all should be adapting, in my opinion. Now, I, I, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, you take what you need, throw back what you don't need, right? But please, do something, right? Do something. If you were not satisfied with how things ended up for you in 2023 and, 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 and you're still here with us, 
You have an opportunity to change that in 2024. But be clear, be clear. Whatever activities you did in 2023, it gave you the results you got in 2023. Now, if you like those results, rinse and repeat in 24. If you do not like those results that you got in 2023, you have to change the activities in 2024 if you expect to get different results. You just do, guys. You can't, you can't continue to do the same activities and expect different results. That's the textbook definition of insanity. You can't. You got to change up the activities. And I've just given you five ideas. Five things, five top five investments for you to change your whole life. Not just your financial life, but your whole life. But you got to sit down and make a, a promise to yourself. Not to me, not to anybody else, but to yourself. Matter of fact, I would write these things down. And I'd put them on my mirror in my bathroom. So every morning when I get up, before my day starts, boom, I'm looking right at them. Okay, here's some things that I need to be doing today in order to get to what? These five things. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be looking at them every day saying, okay, real estate, prime real estate fund. Let's, let's get it. Stock market investing. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to be dollar cost averaging in. Let's go. Business, good news for me, I got a business. All I'm trying to do is continue to scale it. Not scale it for what somebody else think it should be scaled to, but what I want to scale it to, right? Invest in myself, absolutely. Got to keep, got to keep investing in myself through improving my health, improving my mental, improving my relationships, right? Improving my finances, I got to keep on improving those things. My spiritual, I got to keep improving my spiritual. So all I'm telling you guys is think about that. And then the last one is think about making an investment in others. Sharing your greatness. We're all great at something, guys. We are all great at something. Find out what you're great at and share it. Help somebody else obtain their greatness. Let's stop being so selfish. Oh, I'm great. I don't want him to be great. I don't want her to be great. Mm -mm. You're, missing, you're missing it. See, by you trying to hold on to, to the, all the greatness, you, you, you're, 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 you're missing the point. The point is, is to help others be great. Because if I can help others be great, at some point, hopefully, our world will be better. Place for all of us to live and for our kids to live and for, you know what I mean? The reason we have a lot of the problems we have in our country is because we, we, we don't want to share. We are somewhat selfish, including myself. I'm right there with you. That's why I'm working on this stuff, just like I'm asking you to consider working on yours. It's somewhere in us, we have a little bit of that selfishness. Some of us have more than others, but we have it. And if not controlled, it will isolate us, right? It will tear us apart. And a lot of that's been happening in our world. But the way we bring that thing back together is by doing what? Share our greatness, help others. Invest in others. So number five is important. I hope you guys pay attention to that. Think about that. Think about these five things I just gave you. 2024 is going to be here and it's going to do what it's going to do with or without you. What do we got? 361 days left? See? It's going to move. Time don't stop for you. Time ain't going to stop for me. Time going to keep moving. We got 361 days left. You're going to wake up, boom. Right? 
We're going to have 200 days left. So what I'm telling you is don't procrastinate. Get your plan together now. Even, even tonight, sit yourself down, write your plan out. I've given you some nuggets here. I've given you an outline. I've given you a blueprint. You don't have to take all of it. You don't have to take none of it. But hopefully it has triggered something to get your process, to, to, to get your blueprint together going. No one's going to save you. No one is going to save you but you. You got to save you. Right? You got to save you, just like I got to save me. But that doesn't mean people don't come along and want to give you a hand and will help you out. But I'm saying no one's going to be there 365 days a year to, to save you. Somebody might stop in one day, two days, five days, but ain't nobody going to be there. You got to save you. No one wants to have someone else's problems on their back 365 days a year. I don't care who, how special that person is. No one can do that. No one can hold your problems for 365 days a year. You're going to run them off. Handle your own problems. I've given you some ideas to do that. Handle your own problems. Get yourself together. You can. You just got to make the decision. That's what you want to do. If you make the decision, guys, you can do it. I guarantee you, you can do it. But you got to make the decision and you got to make it soon. Don't be trying to make it 100 days from now. Oh, yeah, I thought about that, but you know something? Eh, I'm, I'm good. 100 days go by, you ain't done anything. Nothing. You're in the same position you was in January 1st, 2024. In that same position. Right? So, so, so don't procrastinate. That, that's, a, that's one of the big things, right? Procrastination. Don't procrastinate. Get out here and do it today, tonight. Don't procrastinate. Sit down and sketch it out. Get your phone, get your pen and paper, pencil and paper, sketch it out. Change your life tonight. Now, some of you may be asking, hey, I thought you were going to do the live streams on the new channel. And I am. I am. New channel is trying to get its little self up. It's like the little... The little train that could. It, it's trying to get itself going, but it ain't there yet. When it gets itself to a point where I'm satisfied with what's happening on that channel, then I will switch the live streams to that channel. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and continue doing the live streams here, but I'm not going to do them as frequent. So I'm going to probably do them about three times a week. And that's not frequent for me because you guys know I post every day, a couple times a day sometimes. So I am going to keep the live streams here just because the new channel that I created is taking a little time to get its, get its, get its feet under it. And once it gets its feet under it, then we will. But I don't want to have a lot of effort into nobody watching it over on the other channel. So we got to get that up and going. And I'm going to work on that. Don't worry about that. I'll get that knocked out in the next few months because I got a plan for that channel. It'll get there. So I'm going to just focus on doing the live streams back on the main channel for now. And then I'm going to still also do the edited content every single day. The shorter edited content, I'll do that every day. And then we'll have these, these longer uh, discussions through the live streams, uh, hopefully three times a week, right? And, 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 and y'all know me. If I get the bug, I might do it every seven days a week. I, I, that's how I am. I, I'm just, I'm a guy that likes to interact with you through this medium and, and, and sometimes when I just get a whim, I go. I, I don't really plan stuff and do all that. That's not my cup of tea. Some others do. I don't. I just, when I get the urge, I get a concept, I get something on the, on the, on, in, the, in the filter system that I want to get out, boom, I go ahead and do what I got to do. So keep that in mind. Also, um, the new Instagram page. I created a new one, like I mentioned earlier in the video. I created a new Instagram page because my old one, was disabled and don't look like uh, Instagram is gonna reactivate it. So I just went ahead and created a new one. It's Richard Fane, Millionaire Mentor. So if you guys want to, 
Um, you certainly don't have to, but if you want to, you can go over there and follow me because it's a lot easier just to send me a DM on there if you're following me and, and, and rocking with me over there. So if you want to do that, again, be on the lookout for scammers. I can't stop these scammers, so be on the lookout for them. But if you want to follow me on Instagram, it, it'll just be easier for you to see the, 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 the content I'm doing over there and also DM me quickly and easily. So that's Richard Fame Millionaire Mentor. The link for the Instagram page is down in the description box as well. If you want those three free stocks from Weeble, guys, click on that link down in the description box. Go get those three free stocks from Weeble and also send me that, send me a DM on Instagram to let me know you've opened it and I'll send you that free Weeble tutorial video to walk you through how to use the app to start making some of your paper asset purchases. Um, so I'm, I'm willing to do that as long as you DM me, tell me you opened the account and you funded it. I'll, I'll send you that video. Last thing, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Guys, hit that like button for me. Um, hit the like button before you tap out. Uh, some of you have already done that and I appreciate it. Um, hit the like button for me on your way out of here. I, I really would appreciate it. Also share the video. Um, if you would, that would be greatly appreciated. Share it with somebody in your, in your network. That would be wonderful. And, and again, thank you guys for spending an hour or so with me tonight. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep coming. Um, this is what I love doing. This is what I'm passionate about. Um, so I'm going to keep bringing the content. I'm going to keep bringing the information. And I hope you guys stick around and support it and continue watching. Please hit the thumbs up for me to let me know you're rocking with me on that. Thoughts become things. Before we even go there, let me just give you my, give you my, 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 my slogan for 2020, 2024 again, which is stay healthy, get wealthy. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace.